Agriculture is the backbone of a progressive nation as this sector provides food and livelihood for millions of Filipinos. To the start of every new day, Filipino farmers and fishers wake up with a fervent desire to produce high quality and affordable food for their country. This is the mandate of the Philippine Department of Agriculture as the lead agency tasked to promote sustainable agricultural and fisheries development and growth. President Emilio Aguinaldo on June 23, 1898, created the Department of Agriculture and Manufacturing with a mandate to develop the country's agricultural products and basic commodities, as well as the fishing, forestry, and mining sectors. Succeeding administrations reorganized and renamed the department several times throughout the years. However, its original mandate remained and was further strengthened. the agency was again reorganized to become the Department of Agriculture that we know today. From a small institution overseeing the production of a few crops to a national agency in charge of the management of the country's agriculture and natural resources, DA has been a constant and dependable partner of the Filipino farmers and fishers. To boost income, and reduce poverty incidents in the rural areas, DA offers a wide range of services from the production of grains and crops, livestock, poultry, and fish species, establishment of rural and farm infrastructures, credit and finance, research and development, regulatory, and marketing. Its bureaus and agencies attached to it collaborate to attain one single goal, a prosperous rural environment built on profitable farm and fishing grounds. landing the highest post in the Philippine government, Rodrigo Duterte has been sharing his vision for the Philippine agriculture. He may be tough in his words, but the former Davao City Mayor shows the tenderness of a father when it comes to helping the poor Filipino farmers and fishers. His commitments focused on providing accessible and affordable food for everyone. After being elected, Duterte showed enthusiasm 
and seriousness in improving the lives of fishers and farmers and delivering development in rural areas. This priority agenda for Philippine agriculture was set on providing affordable and accessible food for every Filipino. Road development projects shall complement with a trust modern agricultural infrastructure and funding improving the construction and rehabilitation of roads and the irrigation. And establishing modern harvest and post-harvest facilities to minimize losses. We shall also conduct a nationwide soil analysis to determine areas most suitable for rice farming to optimize production. With the use of effective soil rehabilitation and fertilization, we shall strictly enforce fisheries laws, particularly on illegal fishing, and promote aquaculture along riverbanks and in backwards. Even before he was handpicked to handle the country's agri-fishery portfolio, Pinyol has already visited small rural communities for face-to-face -face interactions and dialogues with the farmers, fishers, and other agricultural stakeholders in the grassroots. As a president's alter ego for agricultural development, Pinyol is pursuing projects anchored at the vision of Duterte on affordable, accessible food. In fact, he presented an extensive outline of a new set of policy reforms to guide the Department of Agriculture in its mandate on his very first day in the office. To date, Pinyol sees to it a regular dialogue through his Piahing Bukid during regional engagements is included in his itinerary. Management by wandering around. Paano ko malalaman kung anong klima ng taga Bungao kung hindi ako pupunta rito? Today, the Agriculture Department remains a steadfast ally of farmers and fishers in improving their production and increasing income and profit. As agriculture continues to contribute to the overall economic growth of the country and well-being of its people, the Department of Agriculture pledges to further its efforts and commitment to provide a strong and dynamic foundation for the rural development and a progressive Philippine nation.